This is Team Quicksilver's journey throughout the course designing solutions for defense at the University of Southern Mississippi. We are a team of three, and I am BB, the team's project coordinator and computer science major. Next, we have Shafak, the team's solutions architect, and he is a computer science major as well. Finally, we have Danielle, a communication studies major and the team's strategist. Our problem is titled Measuring Mercury. And our sponsor for this problem is Captain Siglini from the 7th Special Forces Group. The reason why our problem is called measuring mercury is because that in South America, mercury is being used for small-scale gold mining. The reason why mercury is so bad in this practice is because it's harmful to the user and to the environment, as well as fund criminal organizations. And with this problem, we've had a journey. Now, as we approached our problem, things got difficult. Our mission was a lot more complex than we had ever expected. My teammates and I became a team because we gravitated towards the same problem. We looked at this challenge and decided that this issue was what we wanted to devote our time, energy, and skills to solving. That made a pretty strong connection between us because we were all determined to get this accomplished. Our problem, which started out simple, quickly grew the more we researched, learned, and discovered, but we each brought different skills to the table and we supported each other throughout the entire adventure. Right from the start, this team had a great cohesion. We got along well, and over the course of the semester, we became a strong unit. We've had our ups and downs, our successes and failures, and our team had gone through some difficult adversity. But now we're nearly at the end, and we couldn't be more proud of what we've accomplished. Our emotional level graph represents how we felt throughout the duration of the course, representing our emotional journey as it was a learning process. Throughout this learning process, we had learned and developed different skills such as problem solving, public speaking, and our soft skills. The way that we proved them on problem solving was by revising our problem statement as we figured out the true root core of our problem. Next, we did developed our public speaking by conducting weekly presentations in a flipped classroom situation. Finally, we furthered our soft skills by having to constantly email people to meet our quota of interviews. One of my most favorite parts of this journey was the fact that Shafak and I got to travel to Lima, Peru to have a better understanding of our problem. And it was a trip that we really needed and it helped us a lot as we gathered a lot of customer feedback in regards to our products. So thank you for tuning in and